Hello everybody, DBG Subzara here. Welcome or welcome back, whichever applies to you. We're back here with some Final Fantasy Part 2 Pixel Remaster. This is part number 6. Picking up exactly where we left off from last time. Uh, we just done Cash One Keep, we've got Urgil's Torch and the Sunfire. And we are um, just going to heal up because we took a bit of a kicking at the end of the last um, level. Uh, so we're just going to burn through our MP. And then we are about to go and find out that the airship at the end of the last uh, last video that was captured contained the princess who felt bad for sending us off on a dangerous mission all alone so decided to screw up her own mission. It has to set down somewhere eventually. That it does, and I know exactly where that is. It's uh, a long walk. We've got to go through three corners of the map to get there. So, without further ado, let's get going on our trek. We are going um, straight northwest. Uh, which brings us up at the northeast corner of the map for uh, for a little while, then brings us out at the southeast corner of the map, which is what I meant when I said we got to go through three corners of the map to get there. This is a one-time dungeon. Uh, if you're doing the estuary achievement, don't worry, uh, all of the mobs are repeatable, but the chests are missable and there are 10 of them, but I will show you how to get all 10. That weapon of his seems pretty naff, to be honest, because he's only doing... A sword that invokes an ancient curse. Right, okay, so you can go to Warbuster. No, uh, you can go to... Of course, it'll have to be the longsword. I mean, going to a slightly weaker weapon is fine. Um, as I explained at the end of the last video, the lower your weapon quality, the more experience they get per fight, or per use. <clears throat> but uh, to get everything up to level 16, uh, towards the end of the game, I will be uh, fighting some mobs that... Uh, they basically they don't take physical damage so I'm just gonna stand there and pound on them with level one beginning of the game weapons until I get a lot of experience and get all my gear up to level 16. I will be making sure that every character has got at least one weapon and one spell up to level 16 before the end of the game. Uh, at the end of the series I will be doing a bonus video of how to basically become walking nukes at the beginning of the game and I will show you exactly where uh, the monsters are that you can fight so early in the game because uh, as you probably noticed with this map it is basically 90% open from the start and with the level up system that it's got in this game it's really easy to become walking nukes if you know where to go and uh, what to pick up right so uh, we show this guy the pass right uh, for our first treasure chest it's actually in this room. Just up to the top left. But I think there's one that we need to get before that because it's not one that's on the track through the rest of the dungeon. Uh, I think. Ah, uh, yes, there we go.
Right, you can attack, you can't, Asuna or everybody, and you two can attack. Okay, we'll just do that again then. Okay, so now you can assume they're everybody. Ah, uh, I don't think I can actually get that yet. We need an item from a little bit later in the dungeon. I think. Yes, we need the Thief Gloves. So we've got a little bit of backtracking to do. So first off, we get this chest over here. There is nothing in any of the four rooms above because Final Fantasy II is basically Curse of the Empty Rooms. Four chests in here. The Dark Bow, which is not as strong as the Flame Bow, which you can get from the guys that were milling around the first room that we came into. Um, it's not a guaranteed drop, but it's not more than sort of like one in maybe five or six fights, to be honest, so it doesn't take a lot to get them. As uh, those guys up in the front room, at the first room we came into, are the same as the guys who are in Finn, the uh, captains. This is the item that we need. The thief gloves. Now we can open those doors. Alright, Princess saved.
Right, that is five of the ten chests in here. We're about to go and get the sixth. And then seven, eight, nine, and ten are on the way to the um, to the goal. So that's something we will pick up in a few minutes. You can actually fight these guys as well, all you need to do is talk to them. Um, it's a pretty good way to uh, level up if you're under leveled at the moment, because uh, unless you get a lucky teleport out on them, they do take reduced physical damage and uh, they're pretty magic resistant as well, especially if you're on low level magic. Um, so unless you get a lucky teleport out, you do need to be careful uh, using the uh, protect spell and making sure you stay healed. Ah, why is it not letting me in here? Wait, is that a wall walkthrough? Okay, so we just backtracked for nothing. But you know, that's fine, we got some experience and cash out of it. Oh uh, yeah, you can just attack, you can try and teleport a few of them out and you can just attack. Groups like this as well are also really good for powering up like your your low level magics. Especially if you do a um, AOE, uh, you can easily get ten attacks out of a, a group like this. Right, if you AOE them, because you do uh, such reduced damage. Got a mithril bowl, berserk tome, thunder tome, fire tome. Is the mithril bowl as good as the um, flame bowl? No, it's uh, it's pretty terrible by comparison. But what we did get was a sleep blade, which he can use. Oh, actually, uh, that brings his accuracy down a lot. So we're not going to do that because we can boost up his attack power with an item that we get towards the end of the dungeon. Here. 
open then basically it's just a, a long series of rooms for the purpose of grinding you down for basically no reason there isn't actually a boss in this dungeon and you auto escape I'm not sure if you can actually fight that guy because uh, I think that's just the Dark Knight who you do end up fighting anyway later on Just follow the rooms around. No secret doors or anything like that. No puzzles to solve. It's just a run through. heal up because I don't want to risk actually getting any more HP because I'm pretty set to be honest for the way that I've been uh, like the bits of grinding that I have done and stuff I'm about as powerful as I need to be for probably the next four or five hours worth of games to be honest I don't really need to do any powering up uh, right this should be where we get the last of the uh, treasure chests in the dungeon and like I said, this is a one-shot dungeon, so do make sure you get everything before you uh, throw in the torch into the um, engine. Giggers. Good for grinding your weapons up if you're uh, a bit under leveled. Just uh, make sure you do drop your weapon quality. If you're using current level, you will do a fair chunk of damage, like the fireball there. Uh, but even the mithril gear is too strong to actually gain any experience from that guy. with these guys they will do zero as a, a standard but if they crit they will do some damage apart from uh, Maria with the fireball she will do damage every time because her weapon outstrips the quality of the mob ice shield that's not giant's helm that's the one I wanted that one there boosts his attack and everything like that. Uh, the main ghost, that will do as well. Uh, so he's already on a mythical sword. Yeah, she can have a leather cap. The ice shield I don't think is going to make much of a difference, it's just the defense against fire. Ah, gives him an extra point so he can have it. Ah wait, that's a knife isn't it? The main ghost. Yes it is a knife. 
Uh, well, he's not going to use that. He can go back to using um, a long sword. I don't think I have a missile sword. I don't, but I can get one when we head back. And uh, no, it's not the end of the world because there isn't a boss in uh, in this dungeon. This last room is a bit of a maze for no other reason than making you walk the long way around. It's not particularly a puzzle or anything, you don't get a reward for it, it's just a maze for being a maze. These groups are really good for um, powering up low level spells if you're over mine to. Uh, just get like, somebody on low level, fire off under, set it to AoE, and you can easily get 10 rounds worth of attacks out of them. A Thunder Tome and a Stun Tome. Right, so now we're all the way down to the right. You can global that spell, but uh, you get more experience for uh, doing separate. Because it goes on per use. Don't need to worry about MP or anything at this point either because it uh, auto exits the dungeon and drops you back down at altar.
Alright, so there we go. And now we just uh, enjoy the scene. Oh, look, there's the Dark Knight. And Maria recognizes his voice. Who on earth could that be? We'll find out later. And now they just get themselves out. And away we go. Right, that is actually where we're going to leave the video today, because we're just shy of half an hour, but uh, we've not really got time to uh, start the next section, so uh, we will save the game here, and pick up exactly where we left off, left uh, where we are going to leave off next time, so uh, thank you for tuning in, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, take care of yourself, and see you soon.